open the box. You can see that the device comes with a line finder, flange joints and alcohol cartman, USB charger, packing list warranty card and product instruction manual. Let's start the device. After booting, there are the following functions. Respectively, OTDR function, event map, light control filter, visual light source stable, light source loss test, RJ45 line sequence, line sequence function, RJ45 search function, folder and system settings. The following is an explanation of the OTDR function. This device supports two wavelength simultaneous testing. Click here to select the wavelengths. In turn, 1310 wavelengths can be tested separately. 1550 wavelength and two wavelength simultaneous testing. Let's take two wavelength simultaneous testing as an example. Measurement modes are divided into two types, automatic and manual. We first choose automatic. Then our backside fiber optics. After connecting, there is no need to automatically test. Fiber optic settings. Just select the measurement wavelengths. Click test. Wait for the test to end. You can see it. This fiber is a fiber with a length of 2.209 kilometers. Click settings to reselect the measurement mode. Select manual mode. Be careful to select manual mode. Average test time. Measurement range is twice that of base rays. That's 5 kilometers. You can choose 100 nanometers to measure the slow width. Click test. End of test. At the same time, the test curve can be enlarged and reduced. Save the test curve, etc. You can switch to the one-click event map function with one click. At the same time, you can also follow the automatic test button on the left. 1. Click automatic test. The following demonstrates the event map function. Event map function is to put the auto test curve. It's something that we can visualize. No need to set the test curve. Click on automatic test. Wait for the test to end. To see the length measured by the two wavelengths 1310 and 1550 respectively. The following demonstrates the filter function of OPM. Click on the male filter. The backside fiber. This is OPM interface. Plug in our base light source. You can see it now. The light source will change. Click for reference. The current power can be set as a reference value. Click Calibration to calibrate manually. Click on Preset Settings. You can set the current optical power pre-value. The following demonstrates the red light function. Plug the color scheme into our red light interface. Open. After this is turned on, you can see the red light at this time can be switched to 1 Hz. Light of different frequencies such as 2 Hz. The following describes the stable light source function. Turn it on to switch between different wavelengths. This is the 1010 wavelengths. At the same time, the frequency can be switched to 170 Hz, 330 Hz, and 1000 Hz and 2000 J. The following describes the loss test function. The loss test function can test remote-free devices, contact loss such as flanges. Connect one end of the standard line to our light source interface. One end is connected to our optical power interface. Open. Set the current tool value as the reference value. At the same time, take our flange. 
0.03 to dB is the loss power value at the current flange value. Here is the RG for 5. Line sequence function. Take out our fact. The test network cable is connected normally according to the image. Then our two modules. Click test. You can see that this network cable is an HY direct network cable. The following is a line sequence function test. Field functional testing. Remove the eye end of the mesh cable. Click test. You can see that this network cable is 0.5 meters of the desktop. 09 meters network cable. Here's a line finding feature. Connect the test network cable normally according to the diagram. The device comes with a dotted remote end. Click to open. At this time, there is a dripping sound on the far side of the back. You can judge this light network cable for a target network cable. The following describes the system settings. These basic parameters of the machine can be set, such as time date automatic switch time device brightness. Whether the language and USB connection are enabled for the sound. After opening the USB connection, my data cable, the device can be connected to the computer. Copying of files. Software updated. DOTDR is offered in both purple and green color options. 